Hello world, welcome to another exciting episode of PonderCast. I am so proud and so excited to welcome my next guest, okay. this guy right here. So he's my nine-year-old, he's a soccer player. Yeah. He was Tweedledum yeah. in the latest version of Alice in Wonderland at his school. And you're a Boilermaker fan, right? Yeah, see? Look right here. Uh, Purdue University. Henry, what are you going to show us today? I know you're really into math. What's your favorite thing you're going to show us? Prodigy, pretty much. What's Prodigy? It's like this one wizard math game. You're like, you're this one wizard. You battle these incredible creatures. And like, it's awesome. It's awesome. And wait, so it's like a video game. Yeah, pretty much. But do you get to play it at school? Yeah. Do you get to play it at home? Sort of. When your mom and dad let you, right? Yeah. Okay. It's a video game, but do you learn something? Yeah, you learn math. Oh, so is it like tricking you into learning? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we like that kind of thing. Uh-huh. And like, if you don't get a math, if you don't get the math thing, there's these heads. Okay, so you go up here, right here. Right? To play Prodigy? Yeah, play Prodigy. What? Press Prodigy to log in your passcode. Okay. The great thing about this program and Prodigy, for the younger students, like Henry knows his username and password, but for the younger students, you can use Clever, right? Yeah. And your Clever badges will work with this, right? Yeah. Okay. So you go ahead and log in. So this is me. Okay, I'll go to school. Okay, so you're going to... So you can do this at home or at school. But And so right now, what do all these green things mean? That means how much people are in there. If they're all red in their field, that means you cannot go in there because there's so much people in that world. More worlds. Okay, yeah, so see I... like this one. You can't go in there. See I'm gonna press it. Oh, I can. Okay. Ooh, share. Oh, there's sound to it. Okay, next. So I'm gonna be right here because I tap it right there. There's Scarlet Storming. That dude. So are these all your friends or are these just characters no, there's in just the game? Characters in the game. I'm gonna press this dude. Oh, I can't visit his house, but I can battle him. But he's 62. I will. I won't want to battle him. What's it mean if you're 62? That means that you're higher levels and you have better spells. Okay, and how many spells? What's your level at? Uh, is this you right here? Yeah, that's me, 46. Okay. I could go to a house, but I won't want to. I'll go over here down into the library, into activities. Oh, okay, so there's like this one thing right here. Okay. Got it, yes. One now. But does this also help with reading? I feel like you're going a little fast. Oh, there's a golden thing right here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when's the math come in? When you fight someone and you have to battle them. Wait, you have to battle? Is that like fighting? Yeah, like cast spells. See, there's uh, someone right here. Okay. I'll be, I'll have to battle him. Okay. Okay. So practice makes perfect. Your question right. I'm a little bit better than him. How do you know? Okay, time out. Let's explain how because you Because you, you have 5,300 and he has 4,700. Uh-huh, and he's 43 out of 46. Okay. And I have these two awesome pets, which are the best pets in the world. No pets, guys. Okay. But chill out, okay. Oh. Yikes. Okay, okay. so what's the sum? Oh, 17. I think it's 17. So 17. Oh, I got it right. Correct. Cool. Uh -huh. Okay, so what happens next? I freeze him. Okay. Spell power bonus. Yes. Powerful. Okay. Come at me, bruh. Oh. oh, he missed it. None taken. So how long have you been playing this to get up to level 50, uh, level 46? Two years, actually. Two years? So you started this back in... First grade? Second grade? Uh, actually, third grade, so one year. One year? 
Here's my spell book. It's all awesome. And what teacher showed you this? Scratch sheet. This scratch sheet. So it's good to have scratch paper. Yeah. So can people play this on Chromebooks? Yeah. Can people play this on iPads? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so we're back at this. Okay, I just okay, won. Okay, so you won. So then I got 10 battle stars. Woo! Okay, slow Tinger, down. Let's explain to everybody Tinger what this is. I just got 100 hearts, so... Okay, is that good for them or good for you? Good for me. Oh, because he's on... Un... Uh-huh, and then see, open so, a... So chain. these guys... Are my people. These are your peeps, your friends, your, your pets? Yeah, my pets. Okay. And then I open this. I get money for winning. Okay, so you get a little reward for... Gold, 50. I got 50 coins. I got five academy pages. A academic pages. Academic pages. Member stars, even though I'm not a member. I don't care. Okay. Okay. All right, so before you go any farther, is it possible to play multiplayer games? Can you and your friends in class be on the same world and help each other? Yeah, so like you, how you saw in like after I logged in my password... It said, "What word do you, what world do you want to be on?" And then, like, if one of you guys are on the same world, then like you can battle each other, like go wherever you you guys go. Okay. Kind of like a friend friend thing. Cool. Uh huh. And let me show you something. This is how much pets I have. So you get all these pets. So mm -hmm. if you win ma more math questions, you or you get more math questions correct, you get more pets. No, you ha you have to like catch them. Okay, what's the highest level that you've seen yourself or a friend? So this is one kid who who be who was good at soccer in third grade, but he left in fourth grade, and he, and his highest was a hundred a hundred ten that. That what level he was on. That's good. And I have a ton of wands right here. I don't even know how much. Do different wands do different things? Yeah, like gizmo. I get like do that to people. Cool. Like range three people. That fire. Okay. That water. So this is gamifying your math class. Yeah. And having a little fun doing it. And then this is my little buddy who I can hide, but I like to have him out. A oh, brown hamster. Very good. Yeah. He's okay. My little buddies. So, little buddies. Okay, so we saw some math with some blocks. Does it ever have like math problems? Does the math get oh, tougher yeah. uh -huh. or easier? It gets tougher. So as you get more right answers, the questions get more difficult. And uh -huh. as you grow up, they also get more difficult. Uh huh. Wait. I think he's snow, so I have I have flick and and whatever my my dude is. They're both fire elements. This dude is snow. Okay, so you're gonna so, do one more battle. Yeah, make sure you read correctly. Sorry. It's all right. Get destroyed, son. Bye bye. So how long does it take you to level up? Does it is it easier when you're in like levels one through five to level up? Yeah. And then once you get to the higher levels, it takes a little bit longer. In the line plot, how many stones have a length of six centimeters? This many have six centimeters. Oh. So. I didn't get the question. Because you got to read them. He's gonna level up. Ah, so there you go. That's what happens when you level up. I'm gonna give you five questions. You're going to answer them as quickly as you can. Are you ready for the lightning round? Okay, sure. Question number one, what grade are you in? Fourth. Question number two, what is your favorite class? Math. Question number three, what's your favorite baseball team? Cubs. Bonus question, who's your favorite player? Javi. Okay. What, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? Become an engineer. And since it's November, what are you most thankful for? Uh, this house. This house? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good answer. Thanks for being on Pondercast. You're welcome. All right. Would you tell everybody to follow you on Twitter? How about follow us on YouTube? This is Henry Ponder and my dad 
Seth Ponder going out for Ponder Kids. Bye bye, world. Okay. Please, please subscribe and like and share this video. We'll put the links down below for our information and also for Prodigy. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye. This is Henry Ponder signing out. Peace.